we're in the what I'll, I will call the primitive sites which are the sites on the hillside at Clear Creek State Park and uh, we'll take a walk around here and we'll see what campsites could legitimately be used with what equipment So here's the first one, campsite 53. Here's your parking spur. You'd be coming in from that direction because it's a one-way loop. So it's slightly uphill, not exactly even. You could probably get like a small travel trailer in here a pop-up maybe not very level and then up there in the rocks you can see is your picnic table and firing so that would entail tripping and falling through these roots to uh to your firing and picnic table big hole right there you can trip in. Alright, headed up the loop. Right there's a nice chunk of firewood I wouldn't mind having. Next site, 52. Coming up from that direction because it's a one way loop. Uphill quite a bit. Uh, there's your picnic table. Pretty flat right in there for a tent. RV of any type would be a little challenging. Really a decent tent site. Put your tent right there. Picnic tables here. There's your firing. Not exactly anywhere to sit around the firing though. I mean, right here, or at the table.
Next sight is 51. Fifty-one. Here's your parking spur. Uh, probably get a pop-up camper or a little travel trailer in here. And again, fire ring and table are up here. Very similar to the last one. There's a nice flat spot right there for tent. A little more conducive to sitting around the fire. A little flatter right there. Campsite 50 by the big rock and kind of slopes downhill a lot. I suppose if you had some type of RV as long as you didn't back it any farther than about right here you'd probably be good and the fire ring and picnic table are up there again uh, maybe okay for a young person but if you park down here who wants to who wants to trudge up here to to the fire ring and picnic table, but eh, I really don't even see how. Yeah. All right, you might get a small tent right there. Might. Hammocks, nothing. Next site, what would this one be? What was the last one? 51, 50, we'll check on the way out. Can't remember. I honestly, I wouldn't even put a tent up here. Um, a tent or a hammock? No. An RV?
maybe. It's uphill. Here, I'll show you down here. All right, that's that was site 49. And there's your parking spur, much like the others. Pretty good slope. Truby Trail. You do get people up here walking the ox shoe in the Clear Creek Trail. But about the only automobile traffic you get is people just driving around the loop to see what's up here. Okay, these are the sites that are a little more campable in my opinion. Here's site 48. Here's the parking spur. You could get a pretty goodly sized RV in here. You know, 29 foot travel trailer even. If you're, uh, but some, I don't know. I never towed anything that big, so making that turn up there, would that be a consideration? I don't know. But firing and picnic table. Hammocking, uh, there's two trees right there, but they're pretty darn close together. All right, here's my campsite. is 47 really you could consider this a, a pull through site for an RV because you can come right around where the van's parked and go right straight through over there to get out but uh I picked this because it's probably the best hammock spot. Right there's my hammock. And you could probably get another one right in there if your straps are long enough. Or even right there. And hope whoever you're camping with doesn't snore. Okay, if you had to, you could pull right through here. As you can see, people have done. 
Um, uh, the ground's a little uneven right there, but you could probably hang a hammock between that tree and that tree. Um, I'd probably set it up to get in from this side though, because it's really uneven over there. And lastly, probably the best spot for an RV is site 46. Picnic table, fire ring, but this is a one-way loop. So you would be coming from that direction And I think you would have to be pretty creative to make this turn and get backed up into there. Yeah, man, that would be... To me, the only way to do it would be have somebody run interference for you, come up this loop the wrong way. This is the coming from this way is the wrong way because it's one way come up the wrong way pull in there and then back into there I don't know any other way that's site 46 nice site see a couple trees back there you could probably hang a hammock on but it's got holes in it again So that's the primitive loop. Got water right there. There you go. Clear Creek State Park. Use it at your own discretion, I guess. All right, later for now.